Hey guys, welcome to the Dan Nichols Show. And Kelly Slater, I, I was South Africa, I have to make sure how you are because your surfing injury happened in our part of the world. Yeah, I broke my foot really badly at J Bay a um, year and a half ago, a year and a bit ago. I'm just getting to the point where I can walk around to golf now. It's been a little over a year, but I'm getting back. I, I just surfed at an event about three weeks ago and um, starting to feel pretty good. We love J Bay. We're very proud of it in South Africa. Where does it sit in Kelly Slater's list of surfing hotspots? J Bay's right up there. I mean, as a kid, it's one of those spots you, it's, it's on the bucket list. You gotta go there and surf. And it was just sort of, it lived up to all the hype when I went there. The, just besides the wave, just being there, the crisp air and uh, the wildlife, you know, the sharks, whales, dolphins, penguins, um, uh, flamingos. You just see all this stuff at the beach, you know, so it's it's a, it's a sort of a one one of a kind kind of place and a perfect long wave. It's it's a wave everyone dreamed of as a kid. And uh, I love going there every year. Sounds like someone who might be able to entice you along to Mr. Farrell, because you're a, a very keen sir. I'm actually going to be uh, down South Africa in November, coming up here pretty soon. We're doing a, a little safari with the family, um, and then we're doing maybe four or five nights in Cape Town. Right. But it'll be lovely to have you back, and I know you're looking forward to it, because you have been to South Africa before, and yeah, from our conversation in the past. I think we're down there, right? Yeah. Does that sound right? It does indeed. And yeah. you've always had a great time when you visited South Africa. It was amazing. Yeah, so when, I, when we were down there, we were playing shows. Uh, we played in Cape Town. We played in Johannesburg. Had a blast. We're also looking forward, Kelly, to possibly seeing you in Japan in 2020. Possibly, yeah. I got to make our American team. So our, our current world champion, two-time world champion, is from Hawaii, John John Florence. And uh, so th I think there's only going to be two spots per country for both male and female to get on the Olympic team. So John's probably shooing for one. I got to try and make the other one and see what happens. What does it mean to surfing to be going to the Olympics? I'm not sure. I think the best surfer is determined by our world title, our, our world tour that exists. You know, 10 or 11 events around the world, different conditions, different size waves, rights, lefts, the whole thing. So once you kind of run the gamut, you get the best surfer. Uh, I think it's exciting that somebody can just get hot and be the the underdog and potentially win a gold medal uh, for their country and for themselves and um, you know to still be around doing this after that'll make 30 years of professional competition for me uh, when we have it in 2020 I turned pro in 1990 yeah, so now I'm 30 years on uh, by the time the Olympics gets here and you know, to finally have it in the Olympics and to potentially be a part of it, it's really cool. And, that, and that's a big moment because uh, it's an extraordinary career uh, coming towards an end. Is it, is it nerve-wracking? Is it exciting? Is it relieving? I think exciting and, and relieving, not too nerve-wracking. I think knowing where the finish line is for you, and, and you know, it's not, I haven't officially announced it, it's just, it's my idea in my head that I'll probably sort of be done. I'll, I'll still probably surf some competitions for a few years after that, but I don't know about the full-time run around the world thing. It just gets a little tedious, and I, I end up missing all these great swells I want to go chase, and I can't because I don't have time between surf contests. Um, so, you know, I want to... While I have the skill and the ability and the and all that sort of stuff, I want to I want to take some time, a couple, few years, to just chase good waves around, chase chase the best waves in the world for a few years. I'll also give you a bit of time for your business interests. And uh, Mr. Phoenix and I uh, would both like a little wave pool in our back gardens, if that's possible. No problem. No Done. problem. We're sorted. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> just just cough the money up. I'll design it. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll come out to the surf ranch. <laughs> Is, it, is the technology there to make it really small, like a, you know, a proper half acre kind of wave? That technology does exist, yeah. Our technology probably needs a bit more than that, but but there's a couple out there that you could do for sure. Uh, guys, we're looking forward to seeing you in South Africa later on this year. Enjoy your safari. Uh, enjoy being back on the board. The sooner the better. And uh, best of luck 2020. We'd love to see the Olympics. And I think surfing would love to see Kelly Slater with a gold medal and maybe a base playing gold medal in years to come as well. Nice. All we can do is hope. Hope and dream.